Meow de do. Fuck my dead mother. Maybe this will get featured. I'm not psychic, but I do have pretty good ears. Good evening, Sam. Mr. Drebin. Jane. Always nice to see nice people. Sam, play our song. Just one more time. Of course. Ding dong, the witch is dead. Witch, oh witch, the wicked witch. Ding dong, the witch uh, is Sam, dead. Witch, Sam, Sam, oh, uh, that's enough. Play, uh, play the other one, please. Are you sure about that? She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming around the mountain. She'll be coming around the mountain. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. That was easy. What the fuck is this? What's this? Somebody must have set up this camp. I found this in the tent. It has a map in it. Well, part of one at least. doesn't happen to you, it happens for you. How do I know this? I don't, but I'm making sound, and that's the important thing. The map should help us find our way. Look, the Research Commission's headquarters. Come on, let's get going. According to the map, to get to HQ, we need to... Hmm... seem every bit as docile as the ones back home. I had the scout flies memorize my scent earlier. If you lose sight of me, just follow the scout flies, and they'll lead you right to me. I 
fucked your bitch, nigga, and I don't give a fuck who. while we still can. What is this track? Look! Look! There's more over there. Let's check it out. Grant, my dear Dr. Zatler, welcome to Jurassic Park. That is not good. What are you waiting for? Get over here! Get over here! I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. I think about it every night and day. Hey. You all right? Let's go. Okay. Amazing, ain't it? Just look at this gate. It's like nature meant for us to build a stara right here. A stara. I like it. <laughs> the rest of the fifth are already here. You're the last to arrive. Shoulder. Hold still for a bit. Hey, you guys made it. 
Be right back. You're alive. Had <laughs> a rough, huh? Hey. When we couldn't find you two, we were starting to sweat bullets. You scared us. We were talking about going out to look for you. <laughs> All's well that ends well. Hey, we need a hand. Sorry. Hey, Come on. Catch you later. <laughs> This here's our trade yard. I guess the name says it all. Huh. Look at all the people. The stuff. Incredible. Right? <laughs> We've got it all here. We've got hunters to do all the exploring. Scholars to do the research. Technicians to keep them going. This place is the beating heart of the commission. Wait here a sec. Commander, I found him. Welcome to Astera. Your reputations precede you. Okay, I'll give you the grand tour. Let's start by looking for your palico. This is our stockpile. They carry most of the basic necessities. You should drop by later to see what they have. Next is the smithy. It's this way. Over here. Hmm. You're with the Commission's Fifth Fleet, right? The old man in charge, my grandfather, was with the first. That was a long time ago. Me? I'm not with any fleet. Born and bred right here. Never even been to the old world. Here's our smithy. This is where you can craft weapons and armor. You'll be here a lot. Wow! Look at this place. Want to check it out? in here. Want to get going? The canteen? I am so there. Hmm. Here. Over here. This here's our canteen. Hmm. Hey, over there. Hey, you. Oh no, God. No, God, please, no, 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 no. Right. We're calling for a council. Come on. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Fearsville TV. Sorry for all the memes, but I'm not sorry, to be honest. This is just my new way to start off Monster on the World. And I wanted to give you a little more than the usual thing because I've gotten a lot of feedback from you guys which I'm really really thankful for to include more editing and I felt that the beginning of the game was a bit dry a bit very dry so 
I just wanted to spice it up with some old ass memes and uh, I hope I did for all you guys that it worked like that. I will include editing uh, in familiar ways later on in episodes as well, but the more fighting, the less memeing there is. That's just uh, the normal way of working. So right now you can see me uh, choosing a weapon. And if you've seen the old episodes from Monster on the World, I went with the Proto Axe, with the Switch Axe, that can basically be either a sword or an axe. So basically you, you ramp up your special mode with your axe and then deal damage as hard hitting as possible with your sword. Which was a fun playstyle, but basically at that point I had already like 30 hours into the game with that I just it wanted to, you, to, well, spice it up a little bit. So I went with double blades and here you can see me just go into the game, play against the Jagras that tried to fuck my bitch, like I said, and uh, they're now uh, arguably uh, mating call or even fighting call is chicken strips so I think it's pretty promising going forward but as you can see here the special mode with the double blades it's pretty fucking fast and pretty fucking hilarious as well but the jaguars aren't fun let's go to the big guy let's go to the big jaguar here having a little big mag right there doesn't need the burger doesn't need need anything else but the patty in its okay. raw form the so I hunted it down to lead us to it. because to just waiting for it was a bit too lame so let's get into the fight shouldn't we because that's what we're here we're here to hunt monsters in monster on world so this is the normal mode pretty slow attacks not dealing a lot of damage per hit of course but then you can see my blades go red at some point. He holds them like uh, backwards then. And this is when shit goes really grim for my opponent. Right there I'm just trying to get the groove of it. Yeah, sharpness is already down. But you know, basic weapons still lose it pretty quickly. So, going for the whetstone there. Let's hope me machine does a good job. Yeah, he does. And I will put the sharp again. Wow, I could barely evade that one. Yeah, but the camera. The camera can be janky at times. You guys notice. Oh, close one. You would Ah, this one wasn't evadable. That was dumb. As you can see, this is basically just normal fighting. I do not go uh, into the, the hard mode, the, the really attack mode, because I was a noob right there. And just had like a 5 minute sparring session with all kind of different weapons. Where I was like, alright, yeah, I should take that one. It okay, seems like fun. Tired. So I'm now going for Whetstone once damage. again, as the monster evades. And yeah, later on. I have footage already pre-recorded so I can edit them uh, while I'm uploading this one. I will go way, way more into my uh, special mode because it really can be a flurry of attacks and it can stun monsters so good if you use it the right way. So we're down here, the Jaguar is right in front of us pretty much behind this big freaking rock. Here just picking up some mushrooms, you know, this basic ass stuff right there. Getting some research points, you know, nothing special. But their first things go to break. This thing, when it has eaten, has a way broader range, which is not the best thing ever. Uh, I couldn't evade that one, I just Dodge jumped into him. 
sideway attack. Oh, oh, that, w that was bad, you know? Having a roll, basically evading it, and then all of a sudden it doesn't work. Chucking down the potion. Also getting the whisper webs. A oh, wasps. Well, happens, you know. But you can be way more agile with this. This is actually what I like about the X mode. And here you can see it now. That's the hardcore mode. You saw how many attacks there were. Way faster. That's how you do that. Whoa, that's a flurry. That's a flurry right there. them back to the normal attacks because the special mode depletes stamina but he had to switch it up he had to spit out his previous uh, victim so he doesn't have to range it's a bit more faster but that's a play style I want to have him at yeah he's already hurt you see him okay. limp right there Let's and he's trapped the right there Hit it with all you've got. so that's Way to attack, come on, come on. Yeah, pick up the material. Dodge their attacks. You don't want to take hits like that head on. Oh man. To be honest, I just see how much of a noob I was, but you see how much of a damage I did? He didn't limp right before that, and then I went to the flurry. Um had him like two times staggered and all of a sudden he's just totally fucked up. So getting rid of the Jaguar right there, the other Jaguars. Then carving out the materials, because that's what we do right here. But yeah, like, I just see right now how much of a noob I was at playing the, the, the new Blade style. Um, it comes with, of course, a positive and a negative side. The positive is first. You're way more agile than with the sword or the axe. The axe was okay, but the sword, you were slow as fuck. So, if you really wasn't, uh, weren't perfect on your timing, you couldn't get away from attacks because you weren't able to move that fast. Which is not the best thing in my opinion. Like, it's okay. It can happen and all, but it wasn't like a my cup of tea right there. Now going into the cutscene, we see Mr. Tough Guy right there, the annoying Satan. I found that hilarious to be honest because she's annoying me so freaking much in this game. I just had to call her Satan because ugh, she's fucking annoying. <laughs> but yeah, just uh, getting into the cutscene, we'll see Maybe. now the mm. pookie pookie. Uh, which we'll later find out, maybe in episode 2, blink blink. Or maybe in 3, I don't know. I am not involved with this channel at all. <coughs> Bad joke right there. But, here you can see it. The occurring of Sora Magdras in the ancient forest has turned a bit of the oh, wildlife right. up and down. There's our like, mark. all over the place it is. So, we'll find out furthermore in the story, but right there, it just is a fucked up bird puking at things. Something's got him agitated. So, yeah. <laughs> but basically, a Look burning fucking stone in your living room what would fuck you up that? as well, so I Have get the agitated like uh, pookie pookie you right there. It's, it makes sense, like you know. Out. I wouldn't want you guys to shit on my carpet and then say be happy All about right. it. That, that, that's not... No. No, I, I won't... No, I, I wouldn't even fucking talk to you. I would sue your ass. Nah, not even that because I can't sue you for that. I would beat your ass. Mm. Alright, switching up to the smithy. Just looking a bit of the equipment trees. We're just at the beginning, but... Let's see right there what we can do. We can go three different trees already with water with electricity or basic bone do not have too many options right there to forage a lot we went with the hunters equipment right there but I had to get the helmet health boost is always a good perk and even though it's only level one 
it is a major boost compared to other things. And also it looks fucking awesome. So we equip that and now we look like a badass right there. So going for the Great Jagras Hide, look at what it has, Fortify, looks good as a perk, so why the fuck not? We need something else to cover up our beautiful, beautiful Hunter's buddy, but it's mainly for protection. So we equip that right there, and now we look a bit more like a badass. Cast it on shells, hmm, not feeling that one. Alright guys, so that was it. I hope you liked the first episode of Monster Hunter World right there. I'm Euphius Phil. I hope you really, really liked it. Uh, be on the lookout for more content. Not just Monster Hunter World, but also Kingdom Come Deliverance. Commentaries on whatever the fuck happens in this world. Also, tell me in the comments down below what you liked. And also, would you like to see next? If you liked the episode, please hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. It would be really appreciated. And click the notification bell so you get a notification when I upload videos, which can be quite often. Or not. Depends on whatever happens. Right now, it's pretty, pretty tame on Twitter and YouTube. I don't want to get into all of the drama uh, stuff. I'm not a drama or a uh, recent topics channel. I'm not that kind of a man. But if something happens, I will talk about it. And if you also dislike this episode, which could be happening. Um, I don't see why, but it could be the case. Everyone's uh, got their own opinions. Please hit the dislike button. Tell me in the comments down below what you disliked so i might have a chance to improve my content anyways i'm you for phil i hope you like this one and i'm out